What's going on everybody? Welcome back to IT Security Labs and today we'll be completing day two challenge from Try Hack Me, advent of the cyber challenge. And our goal today is to actually hack back. So I encourage you to read this whole story here. I will not be reading this for you. But the idea here is we have a web application that we can manipulate cookies for. So the goal is to learn how HTTP and HTTPS work, uh, understand HTTP status codes, and then also above all understand how cookies help websites with authentication and also maintaining sessions. So in this case, we are actually going to be working with cookies, being able to manipulate the cookies and then know how they work and how if they're misconfigured, someone can manipulate them. So that's what we'll be doing today. First thing that we need to do is read all this stuff here, try to understand what cookies are and also understand status codes and how HTTP and H uh, CSS and the rendering with HTML works. Then after that, and open the website. So right click here and open in a new tab. And when you open the website, this is the website that we'll be looking at. And on this website here, we are being asked to sign up, then register an account and verify the cookies using developer tools in your browser. So I'm using Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and register for an account. So choose sign up. My name is Liz. If you haven't, then the password is called password. The email is called um, subscribe at channel.com. So that's the email and we put everything that we need there. So let's go ahead and create an account. And we have a problem. You do not have permission to register an account currently. Please contact your administrator for assistance. So this looks like, you know, an innocent error. A normal person will live here. But we know from the room that we can look using developer tools. So right click. If you right click there, you can view page source or inspect. In, that, in this case, I'm just going to do an inspect. And if I go to application, I believe that's where it is. Then cookies. I'm going to expand this and look at this cookie here. So you see that we now have a cookie that was set. And the name of the cookie is called user-auth. So that's the first part here, user-auth. So what is the name of the cookie that was created for the account? Is All right. What type of encoding was used for the cookie value? So let's go back to our site. So here's the cookie value. I'll double-click on that. Here's the cookie value. What kind of encoding is that? That's hexadecimal. If you look at this here, I was hoping Google would tell me, but Google didn't tell me. Uh, sometimes if I don't know what things are, I just copy and paste them in Google. This is a hexadecimal value because that's what hex looks like. Um, so let's go here and... So if you do a hexadecimal, that's correct. So that's the value of the cookie. What object form is the data in the cookie formatted? So we need to decode the cookie from hex to um, something different. So I found a hex decoder. You can use other tools like CyberChef, but uh, this site here will take hexadecimal and bring it back to text. So let's try it. So you paste it here and you see now we have a cookie. And looking at these curly brackets here, it looks like this is JSON format. And also, if you look, it's only four characters here. So we can safely say this is in JSON format. Let's submit that. Then uh, manipulate the cookie and bypass the login portal. What is the value of the administrator cookie? So since we know the format of the cookie, we can change the username here from please subscribe to administrator to admin. And as you can see, we get a, a new byte here. So we're going backwards. So. I just changed the name here and it gave me a different hex value. And so let's copy that. So all we did was change my name from please subscribe and put admin. And I think they said admin here. So we get a new hex value. Oh, this one has spaces. I don't know if it will take that. Let's remove our spaces. <laughs> All right. So after changing the name to admin here, I tried to copy this. Uh, this one puts a bunch of spaces. That's not ideal. So found another online tool. 
uh, maybe this is where cyber chef would have been easier just do a st string to hex back so i copy the same change the name to admin then of course i get this value here so copy that and then uh, go back to try hack me paste it here and it's the correct answer so we just needed to convert it after changing the name to admin so now we are hacking back so now that we have the admin cookie here the next question said um what team environment is not responding so we have to try to use this cookie to sign into the website so going back here we can replace this value the admin cookie value with our own value right once we do that um let's try to refresh the page i don't want the register all right so after removing a bunch of things in the url here as you can see in the back it took the cookie just go to the main uh, site so once we're in here it says oh, what team environment is not responding and that will be hr because if you click on hr it's actually not responding at all like nothing is happening so hr is not responding what environment has a networking warning uh, looking at these colors here i think it's the application so let's do just because it's the only one with a different color so there we go so if you want to learn more go to this room we'll complete that task release each day get progressively harder so we'll come back tomorrow and we finish the room so that was how we complete day two we learned a lot about cookies and how you can manipulate cookies to bypass authentication on a website. So I hope you learned something from this. Otherwise, if you like this type of content, please like, subscribe, and heck with me. I'll see you tomorrow with another room. So thanks.